Hello fellow YouTubers, how's it going? It's your boy Squirtle. Uh, today I'm going to uh, show you how to stop pixelation in your videos and this applies to uh, really any uh, any video at all within YouTube. So just jumping right into it here. Um, I have a, a clip for you guys to to see here so short and simple the reason for why uh, you get pixelation within your videos uh, is because uh, YouTube is using an old codec for your video um, if, uh, if you're a small youtuber and don't get a lot of views um, they won't actually have you use the newer codec they have a newer codec called VP9. VP9 is prioritized for the uh, YouTubers that got a lot of views. And the reason for this is VP9 um, processes the video better, so it's more bandwidth efficient, um, which means it gives a higher quality video with less bandwidth impact. So more, it's because it is generating more views the video is generating more views on popular youtubers it allows this new codec allows it for it to be streamed on more devices more flawlessly so that's why they prioritize it a small streamer like me i mean not streamer youtuber like me uh does doesn't get priority for this so every video i will ever upload will be avc um by default now there is a way we can trick youtube into using VP9 as you can see here is one of my videos um, it's got absolutely no views okay it has one view and uh, it's not even posted yet um, so the main way regardless of all your render settings I'm going to tell you how to do this is 1440p now we used to upload 1440p before just to allow for the higher bandwidth capabilities that YouTube would use. So if you're unfamiliar, uh, 720p I believe uses 6,000 um, um, uh, 6, KB, which means that it's using 6,000 kilobytes uh, for your video. That's just the bandwidth for it. 1080p is 8. Well, if you upload it in 1440p, you would have 12 or 14, depending on your video, um, kilobytes per second. So um, if you're rendering your video in a higher uh, bit rate, uh, it would come through better. But that's not going to be our reasoning anymore. It's just straight so we can trick YouTube into using this VP9 codec. And I'll show you how you can adjust your... Uh, Sony Vegas settings to do this. So let's switch over to Sony Vegas. So if we look over here on Sony Vegas, um, I've just got some random projects, one for my uh, test test settings I had earlier. The main thing you're going to need to do now is uh, go to your project settings and whatever you may be, whatever your settings are, if you th think you've perfected it, that's great. Um, all you'll need to do is go to your project settings above your video and uh, change your width to 2560, 2560, and your height to 1440. I don't care if you're shooting 60 or 30 FPS, any of that, it's fine. Click apply and OK, and you should be done with that. Whatever you may use for your render settings as well, go into whatever you have saved and customize your template make sure you don't get fooled when using main concept uh, they have an option here that uh, has 1440 in the resolution but it's not actually 1440p because uh, 1440p goes by the height and this is the width um, uh, of the video not the actual height so you need to scroll up to custom frame rate size in which then you can do 2560, 1440. You, you guys can debate all this. This is the settings that I use if you would like to see them. 
uh, using main concept and uh, I also have another one if you are a H.264 uh, type of guy uh, you can actually come in here and uh, fuse this if this is familiar to you um, make sure same thing you use custom frame rate size and you change it to 25 60 by 14 40 and hit OK make sure you save it and boom you're good to go render out your video when you go to upload back into YouTube um, it will uh, it will first render your 1080 60 and your 720 60 and then these will fill in later uh, until it finishes the very last 1440p render you will see um, the old style AVC codec don't be alarmed once it finishes the VP or your 1440p you will have a VP9 codec in all versions of your video um, so don't worry about it uh, my only thing is or my only saying with it is because it's using the newer codec it actually takes a little bit longer to encode so uh, this video here it was only a minute long took uh, two hours for it to process within YouTube but boy was it worth it um, I can show you here this is actually uh, the um, this is the raw footage so I recorded through shadow play it was a 900 by 1600 clip and if you look uh, I'll zoom it in for you guys if you look here uh, it's very pixelated um, on the video and if I'll play just like a clip it of it for you guys let's go back to this one so as we're driving up to these trees here super pixelating super there's not much more to it I can show you the new video if you look even um, we'll fast forward to the, the trees right here we compare stills okay look look at this so I'll show you the fast motion Apparently my encoder doesn't like that very much, but it, even if I take this still from raw footage versus the original here. Okay, that's pretty damn close. So, <laughs> let me just show you this again. All right here is with the old codec right here AVC full motion still frame okay do you see that <laughs> here is the new codec which is our VP9 still frame full motion I can't believe that uh, it made that much of a difference but uh, it definitely does so uh, the other thing I want to say is your file your output file format does not matter at all it can be an, MO, an MOV uh, MP4 uh, H.264 AVI it doesn't matter as long as it's 1440p if you're a small youtuber um, they will then render your video in the newest codec uh, if you already have um, if you already have a decent amount of views and you find out that your video is actually in VP9 already uh, you have some issues with your codec settings I mean not your codec your um, actual render settings which means you need to make adjustments in Vegas which I had showed my uh, settings earlier so if you would like uh, just pause the video and rewind and go take a look at those um, I kind of flashed them on purpose just to kind of show uh, what I had up there so 
um, that is it that is how you will stop pixelation in your videos and uh, I, I really hope it works for you because um, I spent hours researching this so uh, ho hopefully I save you some time catch you on the next one later